Pashat Noach, Shalishi. The Torah describes Noach in the Teva. It's pouring outside for 40 days and 40 nights. The Teva is lifted up on the waters. And the waters are not calm. The waters are waves, whirlpools, destroying everything inside of it. Boiling water. The Teva goes higher and higher and higher, higher than the highest mountains. 15 Amot, the Torah says, higher than the highest mountains. Everything is destroyed. Everything. Besides Noach and who's in the Teva. Even after the rain ends, after 40 days, the waters continue to churn and destroy everything for 150 days. Noach's in the Teva, doing his job, feeding the animals, going through what he needs to do, while everything is destroyed. After that 150 days, finally Hashem remembers Noach. And whoever's inside the Teva, and Hashem begins to calm the world. The heavens calm, the underground waters calm, and the water begins to recede slowly but surely. The Teva goes lower and lower and lower. Finally, Noah feels it's enough time. He opens the window and he sends out the raven to see, is the, is the uh, is earth dry or not? The raven doesn't come back. Finally, he sends the Yonah, the dove. First, the dove goes, comes back. Couldn't find a place to, couldn't find a place to land. He sends the dove again after seven days. And this time the dove comes back holding in its mouth the branch of the olive tree. That's when Noah realizes the water is, is, is down, not completely dry. He waits another seven days, and then he opens the Teva, and he comes out. He's 601 years old. He was in the Teva for one year. And finally, the ground is dry. That is the end of Shilishit.